generally speaking, we know that the average sleep cycle, that's when your brain goes from wake to stage one, to stage two, stage three, four, back to stage two and into REM sleep, that little dance maneuver takes approximately 90 minutes, okay? The average human has five of those cycles, right? So five 90 minute cycles throughout the night. If you multiply that out, five times 90 is 450 minutes or what we know is seven and a half hours. So number one, eight hours is a myth, but number two, use this seven and a half number to your advantage. So most people have what we call a socially determined wake up time. What does that mean? What time do you have to get up to either make breakfast for the kids, let your dogs out or get ready for work, right? We take that time and we count backwards seven and a half hours. And then we do this for 10 days in a row. If you can wake up before your alarm clock, you figured out exactly how much sleep you need. If you wake up an hour before it happens, then you can stay up an hour later. If after 10 days you still need an alarm clock, then maybe you need to go to bed a little bit earlier. And so that's how I, help, I tell people is just take this seven and a half hours, socially determined wake up time and count backwards. And if you wanna get super duper precise, then you wanna learn about something called your chronotype. So your chronotype is an, a genetically predetermined sleep schedule that all of us have. You might not have heard of the term before, but you've probably heard of the, of the idea being an early bird or a night owl. Those are chronotypes. Turns out that there's four. If you wanna get really precise, once you know your chronotype, you can sleep in that schedule and that's the best.